Hello and welcome to this episode of the Land Rover. In this episode, we are going to build the uh, bulk ass. Is it called that? This is the bulk head. That must be a bulk rear. So, um, I have uh, a long time ago, a few months ago, built the uh, sides for it, where the doors are supposed to shut against. And uh, now we're going to build the rear wall and a, what do you call that? A square tubing, like a frame to make it sturdy and good. So the roof have something good to be seated to. Tomorrow I'm going to roll this out uh, and check how it looks. Uh, so I want to tonight build the uh, bulkhead opposite of the bulkhead, the rear wall, so I can um, mount the roof, roll it out and check how it looks. It's so much dust in the paint, it almost feels like emerald cloth, sandpaper-ish, but I don't really care. <laughs> it's like an old boat, you just more paint on it. So I'm going to fit these in properly, so they are square in every direction. I put this one in the gap, door gap, and clamp it together. And I put in two tack welds. And I had this one. to uh, sort of straighten it out <laughs> so I get it somewhat in the neighborhood of okay so I will weld this piece in and then make some measurements uh, I have the building material here to make the frame around the uh, back wall so let's go So I will make a few measurements. So I will measure with this one from there to here. Here is my measurement for how wide the rear the rear. <laughs> how wide the rear wall is going to be. I adjusted the other one on the other side so it's completely level like this. So now, here's my sexy marking. If I put this one against that one over there, This should be Now we'll measure from the 
bulkhead to the rear of this one and see if I got the same measurement on both sides, which I am absolutely sure I have not. Seven, seven. Just a minute. <laughs> One six eight. Yeah, it's uh, nine millimeters. Nine millimeter longer here. So this one is going up to there. I'm glad this is an adjustable car. One six eight. Yeah, that's about right here. <laughs> yeah. Cool, no problem. Woo! So, these two are tacked welded in. And I will just measure the uh, mark I just did. And I will take away 2.5 millimeter. That's the uh, thickness of this one times two. So that gives me the measurement of the square tubing. I will weld between these two. One, five, four, three. I clamped it on the other side and I will Put the clamp in here too. Something like this. And I will do the same on the other side. And I will now build a uh, bar from this one and down to the floor. Same on the other side. And just one diagonal over. I will not make a cross. I don't think I have to. I mean, I will have quite thick steel I'm building. These are 1.25 millimeter thick, so quite strong uh, rear wall, but I will make one diagonal, 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 <laughs> just to prevent movement like that. Shaking, shaking Steven. <laughs> so I will measure there, there, cut. Imagine, what well, it would be cool to have the same measurement here as there. <laughs> I don't think it is, but yeah, it would be cool. And I will build the wall here. I'm thinking about um, a pattern I can do with a bead roller on this one. I will make this in two pieces. Why would I do that? <laughs> no, I will not. I will make this in one big piece. Um, so yeah, uh, but as you remember, this one has a, a little bit of break in it. What's it? 2.6 degrees total. Uh, but yeah, <clears throat> but the rear wall will just be straight across because it's not going to be much hanging down here, and I don't care. So. This will be great. After the rear wall here, it's not much left to do on the actual body. So I can start with a bed. Wow! <laughs> Didn't think of that. I need door seals. As you can see here. Because I lowered the floor uh, in the car like 25 millimeter. And I guess that's why it looks like this. <laughs> Of course.
looks great. So let's measure away. I have a seat in here. Yeah. Let me, uh, okay. That didn't help. But I can. A magic trick. <laughs> these seats are these seats are fold folding seat because the car they came from was a two door. So yeah, that's great to have folding seat in the pit. because why not? I'm gonna have the never mind. Forty five point seven. Forty five point seven. Forty five point eight. Yeah. It's good enough. It's good enough. Forty five seven and forty five eight. I welded both to this one and up here and here. This one is uh, still hot. <laughs> so I will make. You see, it's flexing a bit. But so I will make one. Uh, I will make one of those square tubings uh, welded in this and in the floor, so it don't flex. I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking making like a frame around this one as well to make it very strong and the door latch I will make a one hole for that one great It's not cold in here. <laughs> Sometimes when I weld, the welds look like this. They're full of pores. Look awful. And sometimes when I weld, they look like this i mean what's the difference here and here huh old sweet garage you might be able to uh, tell me why this looks like um, there's no gas welding gas and this looks like my ordinary welds okay ish <laughs> Uh, and here is one reason why I'm painting this one. This car has a lot of different colors and they are easy to peel off. Uh, <laughs> it's white, blue and gray some yellow and red as well so um, so i guess it's about five layers of paint on this one charming yes but uh, yeah <laughs> we are going to paint uh, the roof and wall the same color as the car uh, so um, from the beginning i was thinking about painting this white but uh, yeah. that corner down there up to here it's huh. 
Yeah. It's more exact than needed, so it was actually spot on. So, do I need to weld in the cross here? I don't think so, actually, because I will start with just making the uh, rear wall. And if I need, if that feels flimsy, which I can't imagine it doing, so... Uh, I mean, it's now strong enough. <laughs> yeah, no need for a crossbar here. Uh, 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 I will make this less flimsy back and forth instead of sideways. So, help me think. What do you guys uh, think I have to do? <laughs> uh, 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 oh, there's my glove. I was looking for that one. Yeah, I will get back to you in a second when I know how to do. do, 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 do. By the way, uh, I have built off camera. Sorry. This one. Um, I am not bolt this in yet. Uh, I will close this up. Well, a plate in here with a hole for shifter cable and two holes for the uh, heater hoses. And under this one, we have the shifter cable going to the gearbox. And we have two fuel filters. These are the from the uh, uh, automatic transmission and the other one here is from the um, transfer case breeders <laughs> so I have fuel filters for breeders can't harm can it uh, don't look at the weld in here please <laughs> I made this one and this one holding the holding the floor these are quite strong now so um, I will make a rubber inner uh, transmission tunnel on top of these two just to protect these from dirt and these from dirt and the shifter cable from dirt. So what do you think? I think it uh, turned out pretty okay. So I have rolled out the car and um, get a feel for it, uh, take a few steps back and uh, I have photographed the car as you see here. The tub is uh, 185 centimeter long. I don't think I will make the bed shorter than this. I think this length is okay. The original 107 inch wheelbase is not far from this. I got the uh, right measurements of a uh, 107 Series 1 tub. Thank you very much, Chris Lowe. This was um, very helpful. Now I know uh, how wide I will build the uh, tailgate and uh, measurements around the wheel wells. So yeah, very helpful. Thanks a lot. You. I guess that one is 185 centimeter inner measurements. This is the same but the outer measurements. But this is a 7 inch shorter wheelbase, so this is just a 100 inch. Comment down below, what do you think? Is the bed too long, too short? Or is it? Is this a sweet spot? Yeah, so now I will um, keep on building the uh, body, the rear wall uh, and uh, yeah Guess that's it. <laughs> I'll keep on building the rear wall. Yeah, I didn't film when I put the roof on, so I will film when I take it off and play that backwards. So, uh, <laughs> enjoy! So 
I have made a uh, frame for this piece and I want to make it strong because the uh, roof is sitting on this one and I want to weld from here box tubing up to the floor. I'm thinking about welding one and integrate it with uh, this one the fastener for the uh, seat I know I keep saying share of about the seats but never mind uh, yeah so um, probably weld one uh, one square tubing from here to integrate it with this one yeah ideas keep on flying <laughs> If you speak Swedish and actually want to check out a guy who can weld and knows how to really weld, check out Old Swede Garage. He is restoring an um, old Volvo Duet. This is called 210 in the rest of the world. Duet here in Sweden. Oh yeah. So I made this and I drilled holes in that to line up with the holes on the uh, seat bracket. Uh, so I'm just going to weld this in place. And the seat is going to have a very good point. I'm going to grind the rivets down, take these off. I'm going to try not to grind or destroy this tub because if I found parts, if everyone needs a tub, I don't know, might build a trailer of this one. Um, thank you, Mr. Lowe, for the idea. Great idea. Uh, it's small trailer but quite cool to have uh, behind the land road. So here is the green original paint. Quite a nice color, but it's none of these. <laughs> so it's one, two, three different greens. And I'm painting it now in a fourth different green. <laughs> 
So it fits good. I got the door stop. I really shouldn't bang the door. I'm going to have a molding here to protect the paint so I can bang the door. <laughs> uh, this is going to be riveted in just as the uh, original one. Uh, it fits good after I... yeah. I had made the door gap too tight. I forgot it's a Land Rover. I should count it in centimeter, not millimeter. So uh, I had to cut the little piece out. And, and this too, because of the fastener for the uh, roof. Here's a door, yay. So, but... Looks good. <laughs> It is now white inside. It's a good quality paint. Will be great with the green on top of it. So when we um, scratch the paint or ship the paint, it will be white underneath instead of this red. Will look much better, I think. It looks more complete when it's painted. And all the fasteners for both seats are ready. So, the car is ready inside now. I will uh, get my wife out for the next episode and we will bedroll the rear wall. It's standing over there. I will turn the camera around and thank you for watching. So, thank you for watching, hope you liked this episode, and see you on the next one. It's coming along good. <laughs> and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do, click blip. So, see you.